is available, and it's largely due to what we're planting. Now, today, uh, the robins are going to uh, need that food. It's very cold. The cold air is bleeding in from the north, and it's creating a winter storm just south of here. We've got an ice storm underway in Mississippi, Louisiana, and some of that snow has moved into Missouri, parts of Illinois. We've had up to an inch of snow in Missouri. Here, we're just on the far northern fringe. There's just a little bit of lift from that system. So we've had a few little patches of light snow and flurries today. We had one little round this morning, and notice we've had a few little patches of light snow here this evening. But that is on the way out, and the cloud deck is pushing out too. Notice skies are clearing pretty much Lafayette westward. So it'll be a clear night, but due to the lack of snow cover and the wind keeping things stirred up, uh, it's not going to bottom out, so we're going to drop into the lower teens by 6 a.m., but with a pretty stiff northeast wind, the wind chill will drop to zero. And cold tomorrow, upper 20s for your highs, but notice the wind chills. That's that red line, zero in the morning and still hanging out in the teens with a pretty brisk northeast wind during the afternoon. So overall, pretty cold week, pretty tranquil, and it will start to warm up by Friday. Now, there are a few snow showers in the forecast. It's not going to be a big deal. We're going to keep most of the snowy, icy weather south of here, followed by a big Arctic blast once we get into early next week. There are the teens tonight, 14 Logansport, 13 Lafayette, 11 Fowler, and 10 degrees at Morocco. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 20s area-wide, 28 Burlington Lafayette, 27 Remington, and about 28 Thorntown down to Ladeau and Darlington, and just a hair warmer Wednesday with partly cloudy skies. 31 Lafayette, freezing literally Romney to Frankfurt and Burlington, and 30 degrees there at Winnemac. Notice where all the stormy weather is going to be this week. Again, this is tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. This is going to be an all out winter storm. In fact, a pretty significant ice storm and a lot of sleet, too, to boot from Louisiana up into Kentucky. But that stays down there. Here, we're in pretty good shape. There's Wednesday morning and there's Wednesday afternoon. Again, just partly cloudy. All the icy, snowy weather staying in the south with the cold air bleeding in and a tremendous plume of moisture. That's where it's going to be. We've got this little winter storm here, another one out here, and another one up here in the Pacific Northwest, and they're going to kind of follow the same track south of here. So Wednesday, Thursday, we're in good shape here, but the big icing and snowing event will stay to our south. There's one little clipper that may bring a couple of snow showers in here on Thursday, and then by the weekend, another clipper may bring a few snow showers, but again, the icing, the snow is down here. It's down towards the mid-Atlantic and parts of the south. But that cold front means business, and it's really going to cool us off a lot. 28 tomorrow, 31 Wednesday, Thursday. Again, a couple snow showers Thursday, a couple snow showers Saturday, Sunday, perhaps Monday, but not a big deal. Again, if you want the ice and snow, you'll have to go south. And then 18, that's it Monday, as the Arctic air continues to bleed in. So we'll watch through uh, at least two or three winter storms south of here for the upcoming week. But right now it looks like they're going to stay just south and 